everybody. Welcome to Let's Talk Art. I'm so excited to be here today. We have an amazing show. And um, I'd like to say hello to all my new people out there that are following me and they're sending me messages. And, um, and I've gotten some people that want to be on my show, so keep that flowing because that's wonderful. I'm getting to meet a lot of new people. And I'd like to um, uh, share um, the fact that you can share my show. You can just hit share on the bottom of it and uh, let some of your friends watch it. And uh, also, you can also go to uh, It's All About the Art. Actually, it's uh, with Amy Ryshevsky or amyryshevsky.com is my website. And I am s so enthralled in here right now because there's so much art around me. And a matter of fact, there is a wonderful new arrangement by Andreas, who is on the set tonight, today, but he'll show up in a little while because I'll, I'll ask him to say hello. He has been doing the most incredible flower arrangement, and if you saw our show last week, you would really, um, or you could watch it anytime you want, but it, it was really, really beautiful. He, he made the arrangement while we were on the show, <clears throat> and today he has made an arrangement to go with my piano that I'm showing today because today is a very musical day. And the, um, the, the funny thing that happened on the way to the farm, no, we didn't go to the farm, I'm just teasing. Um, we we um, decided to do this last minute and I ran over here this morning with, to the studio with my paintbrushes and everything and I was gonna paint the vase and he saved my life today. So he did a gorgeous job and this guy is such an artist. Um, and uh, really, if you, if you, he's from, he's in Boynton Beach and his name is, the flower shop is OMG Boutique Flowers. And he will deliver from, all the way from Boynton Beach, Palm Beach, down to Miami. And if you mentioned that you heard about him on my show, I think he's gonna waive the delivery fee, which is kind of cool. So anyway, I, I'm just so excited to, to share his amazing artistry again with you guys. And I'm also feeling so good today. I'm so thankful that many Americans can now know that help is coming and that everyone is getting their shots and by the summer I think we'll be starting to get back to our normality. You know, we've, we've all learned how to compensate for the interruption in our lives and we've all grown from it. And I know um, in so many ways we've learned how to adjust um, techni technically, um, all, all different ways, uh, working at home, um, communicating a lot differently. I mean, there's so many things that have come up on our, our platform this year that, that we're just, um, I'm, I'm just excited to know that we are moving forward and things are getting much brighter out there. So for you creative souls out there, um, <clears throat> we managed to build our inventory and, um, and we have a lot of work and it's given us a focus on on what we should be doing in the future and how we're going to market ourselves. And I love the fact that I have a studio full of art here. So you guys can start coming out when you get your shots and come to the station and see some of the art. And um, for those who haven't um, been on the show or listened to the show much, I just will tell you that my work is, um, as you can see, this is painted acrylic, but behind me, I have another my lady mosaics and I do um, recreate another painting out of my original paintings um, and so you know because we have so much time on our hands so there's there's a lot of abundance of of things hanging around your studio so I just get my little scissors out and then I come up with an idea and I just go for it matter of fact um, I am doing a um, a jacket um, a man's jacket for a um, men's clothing store. And uh, it's gonna be a really funky jacket with all these colors and everything in it, but it just it gives me something to do. And, and I also really love to sort of theme around my next guest and, and figure out what I can do to, you know, sort of have something to talk about as far as art goes. So, um, you know, I'm seeing a green light. I think our engines are starting to, to uh, power up. And uh, I think that uh, 
we, we are ready to get out there and get up back on the road. So I'm going to make this a little shorter than usual today because I would like to uh, introduce my guest who's going to be on right after the commercial, who is John Douglas. And we're so very lucky to have him and interview him right as he starts his North American art tour. And you will be shocked to see his work, and I will be more excited to show it to you. So uh, we will welcome John right after the commercial. So we're going to take a quickie now, and I'll be right back. Sing the on the beat. <laughs> terrific today. Um, so I hope you love the commercial. Um, we're going to be changing it soon to bring different angles of, of the work and other work that I'm going to add for some of my clients. So um, we're going to welcome John and let's see, there he is. Hey, welcome. Thanks, thanks so much for being Hi, here Amy. today. Hi, Amy. I'm so excited Thank you. to be able to start out with your um, new North American uh, art tour and I know that you're going to be in Delray Beach. March 26th and 27th weekend, and I think it's like open to the public, so I hope everybody start, stops in to see this work of yours. And um, every, you know, a lot of us really know you for your magical creative drumming, and, um, and, I, and I know that uh, you are an amazing painter. So can I just ask you first, how did you ever start? Um, what, what made you start to create art, first of all? Music, I... I can understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Music was pop, was easy. A drummer, pots and pans, and you know, my mom, <laughs> right. my mom's kitchen. Uh, the artwork. I, I'm sure every we all kids crayons and, and sketching and stuff. And um, so I can always remember doing that at home. And and it wasn't really until uh, later in, uh, not later in in life. I was still young. Eighth grade is when I can remember. Uh, my eighth grade art teacher, <clears throat> maybe recognizing that I uh, maybe had some talent in there and in, in, encouraging me. Um, and so I would, I pencil on paper was my thing. Okay. Uh, and, 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 and drawing people uh, has always been my favorite. It's a, it's a challenge every single time. Um, but that's, that's, that's what I did before I started uh, painting was pencil. So did you take classes in school or? Um, only, only in public school, art class. Art class. You know, just like yeah, most of us. yeah. And, and band. I yeah. Think, I think That's self taught the, people are the most creative out there. I mean, you know, you can, you can sit in a class and people tell you how to do it, but you really, I mean, you got to touch it, you got to feel it. 
and you got to go with your own flow. So that's really yeah. important. Um, yeah. So and and most creative people have their own techniques and motivations. And do you? Um, what does that mean to you? Do you sit? I mean, how do you come? How do you come up with your ideas first? Um, well, because it's, I don't know if I'm a realist or not. I mean, if I'm, I, I like to, again, my favorite, I've painted a lot of different things, uh, right. especially when yeah, it came, especially right now. Yeah. Yeah. So especially when it comes to, you know, uh, the, cause I started because I'm a musician and I, I started painting my drums because I just wanted my stuff to look cool and right. unique. Right. Uh, and then, and then it just grew as other bands would see me perform. They they comment on my drums, and so I began this other kind of side job or whatever, painting drums and guitars for lots and lots of other bands. And each one of those is a totally different animal. Uh, I want to put that up so people can see what we're talking about. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's just some okay. So I, so I took. I hope they're okay. Yeah. 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 This is. Um, so you got a broad range of, you know, so there's some airbrush stuff in, in there for, for ZZ Top. I've been painting drums and guitars for ZZ Top since the, since the late 80s. Are they called uh, kits? And still, Is that called a kit? Uh, oh, yeah, we call it some people drum kits, drum sets. Yeah, I call them okay. drum kits. Uh, and the up, up, upper, upper left there is uh, for a band called Mana, uh, really big out of uh, Guadalajara, Mexico. I've been painting drums for them for 30 years. Wow. Um, and that's that's paint on stainless steel. So that was a different discipline. Um, yeah, and then you, you see, treat it, right? you, you see, get, yeah, how it's yeah, stick. E yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, and then the, uh, a, a, a kit in the middle with the, is a kit I did for Aerosmith for the Las Vegas residency, this, this which I, uh, is all Swar Swarovski crystals. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. Um, yeah, you that, and, Go ahead. And of course, I've never done that before. So it's just gluing, meticulous gluing one. That's over 50,000 stones I know, I can't one at a time. I can't imagine. Yeah, I have yeah, a, it's a tedious. artist that I've had on my show who does that and the technique and everything. Oh, it's just mind boggling. But boy, yeah, it, it's, that really keeps you busy, though. <laughs> no, try it, to I could only do it I, at, at two or three hours at a clip. I, I, I brought the... I had the shells in my dining room table, which my wife loves. Yeah, and I <laughs> so I would do, you know, glue one, one stone at a time. And I could, I'm, I was only good for two or three hours before I'd have to go do something else. Oh yeah. Take a sure. break because of the, uh, the small stones and different colors. And it, it's yeah, very tedious. So is there a special music you like to listen to when you're working? Um, I just, I'm kind of addicted to, shuffle i just like listen to uh Whatever what's on my phone or oh, yeah <laughs> but but it's all it's all rock oh yeah okay so yeah, well, yeah it's, it's rock. rock mode yeah yeah classic rock new rock whatever whatever kind of comes up and there, there's there'll be a time where i'm like in the in the mood of, for a particular band or a particular album but most of the time you know i'm busy painting and i i, I want the music going but i'm not i'm not going to be selective about you know, skipping a song that comes up. It's like, I'll, I can, I can listen You'll deal with it. <laughs> for four or five minutes. Yeah. And wait for the next one. Yeah. yeah. Some, some of the beats, you know, get you moving too. I like that when I, when I listen, um, yeah, it sort of motivates you to do another step maybe. <laughs> yeah. It's very, yeah. I mean, it's, it, but music it's, and art yep. is a love story, no matter what you say. So it goes yep. with the flow. Yeah. It really does. Yep. Um, so let's, uh, how would, let's take a look at some of your art. Um, okay. We'll put that up now. There we go. Oh, okay. So Steven Tyler, right? This is Steven Tyler. Yeah. That's a portrait I did um, in Las Vegas. I keep wanting to say last year because it seems like I know we lost 20, 2020 was a, is a, is a huge gap for all of us. Right. So that actually did in, tw in, in, in uh, 2019 in, uh, in my hotel room in Las Vegas while oh, so I was there with right Aerosmith. There. How do you do that yeah. in your hotel room? Okay, so <laughs> I paint, I paint because I basically kind of learned to paint on the road, you know, because I tour with rock bands and stuff. Right. So you're on the road. So I paint unstretched. All I do is carry a canvas wrapped around a PVC pipe so I can't, you know, bend it or cr crunch right, it. And, and it. yeah, I carry, I carry black paint, I carry white paint, and I carry a few brushes. And I mix my paint on a 10 inch drum head. And so, uh, in the painting, that's the, that's the size I normally do. That's, 
that's a size I know that I can fit in an overhead compartment of an airplane. Okay. Um, when it's rolled, when <laughs> it's rolled up, too. Yeah. you know, so yeah, so it's, so it's about a, that's about a, a 40 by 50 canvas. And so in a hotel room, I just, uh, either thumbtack it or, or duct tape it to the wall yeah, in the hotel room. In. <laughs> yeah, in hotel I do too. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then, uh, you know, you put the do not disturb sign on. So, right, so forever. They, cause yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about another one because I'm going to ask you another question. Um, okay. Okay. So the detail that you have, the, you, your hand must be so calm to get the, the, everything like the lines. And I, it just amazes me when I look up close at your work. I mean, it's, um, it's brilliant. So, oh, well, thank you. I, I mean, I, you must be at ease doing it. I, I, yeah, I guess I hope so. I mean, I don't know. I don't have any idea if, if drumming, since that's a physical thing, I don't know if that yeah. helps in, yeah, in any way. Emotion. I don't know. There's, yeah. I'm, there's plenty of other great artists that aren't drummers. So that's probably not a good theory, but, True, but, but I do love detail. detail. Yeah. To be a detail I do love artist it. like that is just such a yeah. major gift. And I try to, I, I try to, <laughs> <laughs> I can't either. I, I, you know, it's, it's uh, like uh, when I'm painting a, a guitar, you know, it's like the, the, the straight, the straight lines of the guitar neck or the strings. It's like, I agonize over that where the curves. And of course, again, primarily I, I, I'd like to do people so that it's all, you know, oh, the there's no hard okay. straight lines, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's so a different what, set what of is this one you were challenges. Doing that's a, a um, that's one actually at, at home in my studio at home. Uh, that's a Jimmy Page uh, commission, and you could see on right next to it was a Robert Plant commission. I was kind of working on them at the same time for the same right. client. Right. Big forty-eight by sixty uh, Led Zeppelin wow. fans. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, it's so really yeah, cool to be able to work on a couple of things at the same time because your motor just changes gears, you know, and then you can go yeah. back and you see things differently when you go back. Then yeah. You can, then just focus on it all the time. Yeah. Very right. cool. Yep. Okay. Let's see what else you got. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, Stevie Nicks Stevie, of Fleetwood yeah. Mac. Uh, oh I painted this um, in my hotel room as well. And while I was in Vegas with Aerosmith across the street is the uh, T-Mobile Center. Fleetwood Mac was there. So uh, I put the, took the painting over there and Stevie Nicks was very kind enough to sign it. She signed it in the, in the hat frame. You could, if you look yeah, closely. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that was cool. But, I, but you know, I, um, I combine usually three or two or three or four different photographs to, for reference. Uh, I try never to copy one single photograph unless I took it or unless I got, actual permission yeah, from the photographer. Need, right, because you need your individuality in there, yeah. Yeah, so this one is made of uh, at least three different photos that I, I will build and kind of, I kind of, now I kind of do my sketches in Photoshop where I do the layers of these different photos and I make it until I, until I like what I see. Wow, and I try, awesome. I, it is, it's great. And I try to, if I have the time, I try to live with it for a long time. Like I'll save that as a JPEG and, and put it on my phone and I'll go and look at it every once in a while as a, you know, an upcoming painting until I can forget what I changed. Right. If yeah. I can look at it. And so that it looks, it looks natural to me. Anything else except for this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so yeah. that's, that to me says, okay, now I'm ready to, I don't always have that luxury yeah, well, of time. As you go. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it just using black and white to me, is, I mean, it's just, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's so amazing to get the lines and get the color variations and, and your fingers. You know, I, I, I thank you. I, I love, I just love black and white. And it's the same with, if I'm, you know, I rarely watch TV anymore, but if I do, if I'm just scanning channels in a hotel room or something, if I stumble on a black and white movie, I'm in. Yeah. I don't care what, if, you know, film noir. I love that stuff. I'm, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know why, uh, but I just am drawn to black and white, black and white photography. I, I uh, black and white, like I say, black and white, old black and white movies. Uh, I just love it. So I prefer to paint in black and white. Well, maybe, you, maybe you're from um, 
uh, uh, another century ago and everything was like yeah that. yeah i always feel like, get... like there's reasons for everything it comes from someplace yeah yeah I, I i i don't know i was raised on a black and white tv maybe that was oh, it oh okay <laughs> okay that'll do it yeah. that, my tv was old black and white yeah okay well where, where were you raised uh early i was born in southern illinois but i've lived in texas since since eighth grade so oh, wow so you're a true I'm, texan i'm i'm texan <laughs> You got the boots and all, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah, deep, deep roots, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's look at another painting. Okay. Ah, kiss. Yeah. It's hard yeah. to mistake who that is. Uh, detail on that one. This oh. one, yeah, because of all the textures of the of the costume, the body armor and the and the studs and then the, the makeup and the, you know, I mean it was uh, a challenge for the for the all those different uh, textures and, and stuff. Um, Absolutely. That I enjoyed. And, you know, um, I, of course, was a so big you, Kiss fan early on. Oh, yeah. Do you, yeah, do you so. layer up to the part where you can start to focus and, and tight, get it tight? You know? For, yeah. Okay. So you're yes. layering until yes. you get the right colors. And, okay. And I think, I think this was when, this was done about two years ago. And I think this was one of the first paintings, or maybe the first one, where I started... Uh, instead of starting with a white canvas, a blank canvas, which is what I think most of us do. I don't know. For me, that's all I ever did. This one, I, I painted the whole canvas neutral yeah. gray. Oh, neutral gray. Yeah. Yeah. Just okay. gray. And okay. then, and then the first thing I did was the black. I just put solid black. I would block it in and right. uh, that would give me, you know, then I knew, okay, I'm coming. I can't get any darker than that. Right. And then the, the, like I, I got the middle ground with the gray and then I, and then I just worked with whites and, you know, did back and forth and stuff. And I really, I don't know what prompted me to do that, but it changed for me okay. how how I painted. Yeah, yeah sure. and I well, I love that now. As as you go, you experiment, and then you find something yeah. that really works. I mean, there's a lot of times that we paint and and it doesn't work. So, and then all of a sudden, you, yeah, that was one of the few times where it was, that was one of the few times it was more intentional. You know, most of my learning comes from mistakes, right? Oh, you, yeah, may, sure. you know, you you try to correct them and forget, you know figure out what, how to work around a problem. This one was from, from the get go. I didn't have a problem yet. So I started with a, you know, just a Not different problem. colored canvas and it was, it was kind of revolutionary. I was like, wow, why didn't, I didn't think of that oh, earlier. Oh, oh okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. I, I have some, that's okay. uh, some of the people at the station asked me how large that was. Uh, that's about 40 by 50. Oh, okay. looks so much bigger. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's because he's larger than life character. Oh, he is larger than That's life. That's why. And, and, <laughs> yeah. and you even got the tongue in a heart shape. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> love it. Love it. Okay. Let's see what else you got there. Okay. Ah, uh, nice. So yeah, Dave Grohl, Foo Fighters. Um, again, worked worked from two or three different photo references, and you know, this was about uh, really the expression of a uh, of, of a performer or Enjoy. in this case, Dave, <laughs> yeah. you know, so that's really kind of what I track because music and, and working for bands or playing in bands is such a huge part of, of what I do and what I have done and who I am. Right. The art, I try, I, I, I try to capture that in a, in a painting, you right. know, the yeah, passion or the energy right. or, um, you know, all of that ideally. So that's the challenge. And the every every is single that you canvas the strings lined up correctly. I mean, that's yeah, everything about that's, it. You're yeah, the tattoos on this one were to me. <laughs> I the, don't know. the tattoos on this one were were, were yeah, particularly actually. difficult. Yeah, I had to get all kind of different reference photos of different better better because I couldn't always tell what they were in the photos. So how you know? long did this and, one take you? Uh, this one again was in, I did in my hotel in in Vegas. So. Um, because I'm, I'm also working with the band or in this case, uh, I was playing with them. Uh, I know I started, we, we did a three week run and I know that it was a blank campus at the beginning and at the end it was done. So I did it over three weeks, Wow, nice. but not, not every day because you know, yeah, I'm doing shows in between yeah. that. Yeah. 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 And, and, and you need to go back and forth to it. Can't stay on it. Yep. Wow. That's right. Really, really get a fresh cool. look. And, Thank you. Uh, yeah, the expression, everything. Oh, I just, I'm just in awe of you. <laughs> then I did, and then the Gibson logo on the guitar, way down there, I did gold leaf, just because. 
Oh, okay. Just I thought because, it would be interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. You got to add that in. Do we yeah. have another photo? Ah, oh, okay. So, yeah, the late, great Edward Van Halen. Oh, I've worked man. for Van Halen for 20, 23 years now. Oh. And uh, so that's uh, not bittersweet. It's just, you know, he, 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 didn't, he died statement. back in October. But uh, so this was actually, uh, I painted this from a, painting, uh, from a photograph that I took when I was in high school. I saw him and I snuck right. my camera in. Yeah. And uh, so this kind of extra special for me. And um, every once in a while, I like, I like to throw in a little bit of color. And uh, for that one, the guitar had the distinctive uh, bumblebee colors. And then as an afterthought, I kind of dripped some paint on it. Um, Give it a little splash. Yeah, I, I, noticed, yeah, but, yeah. I noticed when I was doing a little bit of research on you, you, you used to do a lot of color. I, yeah, that? yeah. So that was a I, I, you know, spe yeah, especially, especially uh, you know, uh, again when I'm doing commission stuff or when I'm when I'm painting the drums and guitars for for people, a lot of you know they want colorful stuff, and and I certainly have done a lot of color. Uh, I just I pref I prefer for me for black and white, you know, especially in in portraiture. I just again I I. I don't know the psychology behind it, but uh, yeah, there's something. I do. Yeah, that. this one, <laughs> this one actually, yeah, this one belongs to the Hard Rock. Uh, I don't. I'm not, I think it may be at the Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. Oh, really? Okay. This the, the original. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we had a Hard Rock person on our show earlier today. One of the people that were oh, oh, around all the oh, restaurants cool. and stuff was really cool. Yeah. Um, so uh, let me see. What else did I have to ask you? <laughs> all right. So I know. Um, I know that you are uh, uh, donating some of the proceeds to the um, Habitat of Humanity. Humanity here. Ha ha Habit uh, humanity, yeah. The Habitat of Humanity is a, obviously a, a, a very, uh, I, don't, well, I don't know about large, but they're very re well respected. It, they do important work. You know, there's not much that's more important than, than uh, a place to lay your head at night, a safe, dry place. And uh, yeah, so we, there's a VIP event at uh, at the Opal Grand Oceanfront Resort that the artwork will be at. There's a, a VIP event on Thursday. Um, oh, prior to your show? With uh, yes, the Thursday, yeah, the March 25th oh, that okay. uh, benefits uh, Habitat for Humanity. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good question. Okay, so what was the most amazing concert that you've done? That you could that stands out among. I mean, I know you just did the that, Grammys, but you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, I, the uh, we're talking about what I've played or been worked for or something else. Or yeah. Um, what, well, so it, would, it would be tough to beat. It would be tough to beat. You know, Aerosmith. Yeah, I, I had. I you know, I had the, uh, you know, the drummer. We were in Vegas, and and uh, Joey Kramer, the drummer, got injured. And right. you know, I got the call on a show day, and I got jumped in there, and it and it and you've been there ever since. progressed, and <laughs> then yeah. so I I played you know over thirty shows with them, the and Grammys you, and being you did one of them. Too correct. Yeah, yeah. So ironically, I'm, I'm I was the new early stages. I was just I just sat at his drums, you know. So I was playing drums that I did. That you painted. So that's kind of yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of a double layer of of. Of stuff, oh, and I've all also full painted. Circle. It's so amazing. Yeah. That how things. Yeah, and together. I've also painted a, a guitar for for Joe Perry that he plays every night. So oh, I'd be nice. playing. I'm on stage, and I'm looking at Joe playing a guitar I painted. I painted 20 years ago. Wow. You know. Oh my god. So uh, it's yeah. I, it would it'd be tough to beat that experience. Yeah, I guess so. so. Yeah, I, I, I just leave that, that there. Yeah, that tops yeah. it all. <laughs> yeah. Are you um after, are you doing another um, concert soon or are you just um, doing your not soon enough we're st we're still under COVID I mean we've no there's oh, been no okay. that's true right Maybe yeah there hasn't summer. been any concerts yeah I, let's hope man this is for all of us you know just uh, being able to meet in large groups whether it's a, a sporting event or a Broadway play or a concert that's that's so yeah. much what my life is all about. Yeah, sure. We, you know, we need that back in our environment. We, so we need that back, man, yeah, big time. Really yep. Yeah. All right, cool. In the meantime, I'll paint. Yeah. Well, I keep on painting regardless, but. <laughs> in the meantime, yeah. I paint too. <laughs> That's great. <Yeah. laughs> oh, I, I thank you so much for doing this interview today. 
and I'm so, Thank so you. happy to be part of your um, start to your great adventure in Delray Beach on your North American tour. And um, I, I just, I'm just delighted. So thanks so much for being here today. Is there anything else you want, you'd like to uh, talk about before? Um, um, man, I think, uh, I think I am looking, lot. I'm really looking, for, I know we did. We, I, I'm looking forward to, to being in Florida again. Uh, it's, um, shoot, it's good to be anywhere different in this, this yeah, climate, you and, know, so you I'm, know. And you've been I'm looking forward to, yeah, I'm used good. to, I'm used to traveling. I'm used to going different city every day. And so I really look forward to being at, at uh, Delray beach and, and then on to Tampa and the, uh, the, uh, I want to thank the Opal grand oceanfront, uh, resort there for, for having me down there. And, and, and I'd, uh, also, I, I'd also like to thank uh, Relevant Communications. Uh, for yep, Allison at Relevant. Allison, she works hard. Introduced me to you. That's so wonderful. I really appreciate yep, yep. it. And uh, should I, I will... list the dates of that, of that, or do you have that? The March twenty sixth, for the ocean. Seventh. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I'll, I'm yeah. going to see you Saturday night because I'm taking my uh, first trip to see my grandchildren in Cleveland. So I'll be back because oh. I want to make sure that I get to see you. So that'll be okay, great. that'd be great. Yeah. I look forward to meeting right. you in person. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, look thank forward you, Amy. to seeing you. Okay. So that was amazing. I am so excited and uh, look forward to seeing everybody next week. And we have a, a, a young lady coming on next week that has just opened a gallery in North Palm Beach and we'd we'll be really excited to see her reasoning for doing that and what, what's behind the story. So see you next week and have a great day. And remember, let's talk art. <laughs>